Good day everyone, in this video I am going to show you a train journey I travelled in Western Australia. I have travelled from a suburb called Thornley to Perth, the capital city of Western Australia. At the start of this journey I couldn't get into the train station as my card had a minus balance on it but anyhow I chopped up that and managed to board the train and travel to the beautiful Perth city. In this video I am going to share my travelling experience and also about the Western Western Australian trains and train transport. If you are new to this channel, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to watch more videos like this and let's start this video. I went to Thornley railway station by bus and get dropped down at the car park. As it was a weekday and there were people who usually park their car there and catch a train to go to the work to the city, the car park of Thornley railway station was almost full. There is a special car to use to travel in the public transport facilities in Western Australia. It is called as a smart rider card. It is just like a bank card and we can normally use these cards to travel in public transport modes like buses, ferries and trains. We can also top up the balance in the card using the machines in any train station. Normally in any Australian railway stations we can notice that the bus stop is very close to the railway station so that the people can drop down very close to the station and walk straight into it. I went into the station and noticed that there was a couple of trains leaving from Thornley to Perth by 7 minutes and 22 minutes. Every 15 minutes there is a train to Perth and just below the LED screen I noticed that the electronic ticket machines and the machines to top up your card. I hope that I had enough balance on the card I had and just went straight to go past the automatic ticket gate. There was a surprise for me. I couldn't get past the ticket gate as I didn't have enough balance on my card. So I went to the top up machine and checked the card balance. It was a crazy balance of minus $23.08. Actually, that card was one of my friends's and I blame him for using that card with a minus balance. Anyway, I credited enough money in the card and then I went past the automatic ticket gate successfully. Thornley railway station is a small station with just a couple of railway tracks and it is the last one in the line from Perth. There was a train waiting for me at the platform. I then entered the train and there were plenty of available seats to sit. I chose a seat to enjoy the view and also to show you guys and there our journey began. Inside the train, you can see a map of the railway network in Perth. Each line was in different color and all the cities connected in those routes were marked clearly. I was traveling in the yellow color line which is known as the Armadale Thornley line.
In every public transport in Australia, you can see a special place for the disabled people to travel. There was also a spot in the train I travelled where disabled people can sit in the wheelchair and travel in their comfort zone. After some time, we reached the next station called Cannington. The train dropped a few people off and some got into the train. Then we started our journey again. There were some LED displays inside the train which showed us the next station and the time to reach the next station. After some time, we reached the next station called as Queen's Park. If you want to get out at the next station and open the door, you need to press the door button which is located always next to the door. After we stopped at last three stations, there were more people got into the train and they were travelling with me towards the city. After 20 minutes of travelling from Thornley, we almost reached the Perth city. We went past the Swan River while enjoying the beautiful view of Winden Bridge and Opta Stadium. Then after a few minutes, we entered into the city. I could be able to see some high-rise building on our way and also many railway tracks which are connected to the Perth railway station. After a couple of minutes, our train reached the Perth station and stopped there. I stepped out the train and started walking along the platform. Even though Perth is one of the main cities in Australia, the railway station was not much crowded. Maybe it was because it was around midday on a weekday and a lot of people use private transport. I'll leave that question to you guys.
The Perth railway station was beautiful and clean. There were nearly eight to nine platforms in the railway station and the trains from different cities were kept on coming and going. It was nice and I enjoyed the train journey from Thornley to Perth. I walked towards the exit, tapped my Smart Rider card in the automatic ticket gate and entered the beautiful Perth city. I hope you guys would have enjoyed this video and if you did so, leave a thumbs up on this video, subscribe and hit the bell icon to watch more videos like this. I will see you all in another beautiful video. Till then, thanks for watching and cheers.